Like you come to an Indian comic, you tell us a comedian got slapped. We don't ask by who, we ask with what. <laughs> Sedition, defamation, hurting sentiments. What do they get slapped with? Comedians often get accused of polarizing social media because people are jaded about social media. Now I get accused of polarizing social media and I do. And while that's fair, it's not absolute. There are times when I have united social media, many times. One time, just one time, I will, <laughs> I will tell you this story. Many years ago, I lived in Prague, about five years ago, shooting a TV show. My parents were visiting and in a posh part of Prague, we were looking for a place to have breakfast on Saturday morning. We found a restaurant called Coffee Coffee. <laughs> I was not impressed by the name. Because Indians, if we're going to repeat a name, we'll do the Punjabi thing and make it coffee, shafi, right? <laughs> That's what Punjabis do, right? Dan shans, chick shiks, party shati. And the shati is always much more fun than the party, right? <laughs> now, it's this one of these restaurants where like everybody working at the restaurant is fucking 22 years old and six foot four and gorgeous and blonde. So immediately you know the service is gonna be shit, right? Like you ever check into a hotel and it's like one of these trendy hotels and the guy at the reception calls you bro. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Welcome to the hotel, bro. Immediately you're like, ah, oh, fuck. There's an STD in my bed, isn't there? <laughs> Please, be honest with me. This cappuccino, is this oat milk or DNA? Just tell me, I need to know. You know, they carry your bag and they look better with your luggage than you look with your luggage. You're like, I don't know whether to tip you or photograph you for Instagram. Because they're always like, yeah, we'll serve you once we're done eye-fucking each other. <laughs> By eye-fucking, I mean E-Y-E, -E, not like Apple took over fucking. <laughs> Apple doesn't fuck anything but Chinese workers and uh... So we sat down by the window, they gave us a dirty look. I don't know why. What do they think would happen if people saw three Indians eating in the window of a fancy restaurant? It's not like we're a community that understands cuisine, huh? It's not like our food is so good, people sailed across oceans to come to India just to fix their fucking food, huh? Indian food is the first line of defense, I promise you. We defeated Alexander because he ate our food mid-invasion and the nearest bathroom was behind him, all right? We defeated Alexander with coriander, that's India. We are the VIPs of IBS. We are the Kardashians of cuisine. Fuck, you should pay Indians to eat in the windows of your restaurants. Like every sign, every restaurant has a sign that says we accept American Express. There should just be a sign that says Raju eats here. <laughs> we are ignored for the first 15 minutes in this restaurant. After about 20 minutes, my father, sweet Indian man, waves at the waiters. He's like, hi, could we get some service, please? Waiters ignore my dad. Now, you know how sometimes when you face a situation like this abroad, it'll bond your family together? Yeah, we turned on each other in a heartbeat. <laughs> my father, my, my mother's like, I'll go talk to them. My father's like, you shut up, you don't know anything. <laughs> my mother's like, you shut up, you don't know anything. You picked the wrong bank account, the wrong fixed deposit. I cheated on you in 1962. <laughs> I'm like, this is a lot. <laughs> and then after, about 20 minutes, my mother, sweet Indian lady, waves at the waiter. She's like, hi, could we get some service, please? Waiters ignore my mom. Guys, I'm an Indian man. You mess with mama. <laughs> and a Will Smith is born inside every single Indian man, right? I'm ready to start. I'm pissed off, I'm helpless, I'm like, how dare you pretend my mother doesn't exist? Only my father has the right to do that. <laughs> I didn't slap anyone. And I don't care if comedians are getting slapped. So we'll be honest about that shit. Like, you come to an Indian comic, you tell us a comedian got slapped, we don't ask by who, we ask with what? <laughs> Sedition, defamation, hurting sentiments, what do they get slapped with? Oh, you think faces hurt, you should try cases, all right? You think the right hand hurts, you should try the right wing. Let's move on. Now, uh... Now, this is where I make my cardinal mistake. 
I get onto social media because I'm pissed off and helpless at this point. I say, hey guys, just had a very rude experience at coffee, coffee. I'm only saying this so that the owner understands this is happening at his restaurant. This has never happened anywhere else in the Czech Republic, which has been fantastic. I thought that was a good message. Would you agree? Yeah. But I have 12.9 million social media followers across platforms back home who read this shit and go Game of Thrones bench or let's go now. <laughs> Indians from India start spamming the Google and Yelp pages of coffee, coffee. All right. Just giving them one star ratings. One star, one star, one star, one star. <laughs> Within half an hour, their Google rating drops from 4.9 to 2.3. Because of Indians just going one star, one star, one. No explanation, by the way. Just randomly one star, one star, one star. I bet you even the people at the cafe were confused. Like, did we serve this many Indians? I thought this was against policy. One star, one star, one star, one star, one star. Not even Indians who like me. Fucking right-wingers are getting into it as well, right? Even bhakts are like, there is Rekis Cafe in Pragyu. One star, one star, one star. So, which is such an Indian thing, right? That hatred of the left and hatred of the right are both united by hatred of the white, right? That's India. And I think this will go away in like a day or two. And then the Times of India, our national newspaper, Irony's Diaper comes back into my life. The Times of India does an article saying, Veer Das accuses Prague Cafe of racism. Now I'm trending on social media. Me and my parents' names are in the Czech evening news, the Slovak evening news, in all of their morning papers. I just wanted breakfast. Now I'm getting thousands of messages in Czech. I don't speak Czech, bro. <laughs> if I spoke Czech, I would have gotten some service at Coffee Coffee. <laughs> I recognize some words, sand, n-word. Lots of people call me a sand, n-word. Uh, why do you have to bring like flooring into racism? <laughs> Races don't really care about your flora and fauna, do they? They just think flora and fauna are two Hispanic ladies who are stealing their jobs. That's it. <laughs> Now there are counter articles coming out in Czech media that say Bollywood star accuses Prague cafe of racism because he wasn't served in five minutes. Guys, there are two things wrong with that headline. I'm a little offended by how quickly you said that shit. Number one. It was not five minutes, it was 22 minutes. I know the difference, ask my wife. <laughs> Two. Two. Now we can all say it. I am not a Bollywood star. I'm a comedian who sometimes does movies. Fucking Shah Rukh Khan is a Bollywood star. The biggest star in the world. Google Shah Rukh Khan. Women throw their underwear at Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> Aunties throw it like cricketers. Hey, Shah Rukh, spin. Women have thrown their underwear at me, but it's always followed by questions. Veer, could you put that in the washing machine, please? <laughs> Veer, did you wear this? <laughs> I get to work the next day, and there are two gigantic cakes in my dressing room from the owner of Coffee Coffee. Yeah, it's really sweet, man. He got on the phone with me. He's like, hey man, I'm so sorry about your mom and dad. I apologize, I get it. And I'm like, man, I'm so sorry about the Google rating. Good luck with that. <laughs> no, I wrote them an email, we got it fixed. And then he's like, will you eat the cake? And I'm like, you know what, sir? On principle, it feels wrong to eat the cake right now. Does that make sense? Yeah? It does, right? So I hung up the phone and I ate the cake immediately. Now, guys. This is the best cake I have ever eaten in my life. I would have waited 19 hours for this cake had I known. For this cake, you can punch my mother in the face directly. Thrice. This cake was so good, it overruled racism. Like if you sent it to Martin Luther King the night before his speech, he would have brought it up in the speech. It's that good. He would have been like, I have a dream. That one day, this nation will rise like a sponge cake in the oven. 
With white frosting and chocolate sprinkles together in harmony on the fluffy texture of America. You guys look confused. You've never seen an Indian man do Martin Luther King before, have you? <laughs> Why do I tell you this story? It's because when it comes to basic shit, real shit, mom and dad, no matter who we are, who we worship, where we're from, we get it. We come together because mom and dad are your weakness. Everybody understands that. And in a world where everybody's posturing that they are strong and where no information is real, the most real thing is weakness. And when you're vulnerable enough to show your weakness to social media, once in a while they will show you their strength. And it's beautiful. Doesn't that feel like a good reason to tell you this story, yeah? That is not why I tell you this story at all. It is far more selfish and matlabi than that. Guys, if you are ever in Prague, <laughs> and you would like lightning fast service, and free cake, go to Coffee Coffee now. Tell them I sent you. Go! Shake your mag and make go. Shake your mag and make go. Shake your mag and make go. Shake your mag and make go.